My name is Paul Grease, and I teach computer science at the University of Toronto. I like to think of a, a program as a lot like a recipe in a cookbook, where there's a set of ingredients, and the recipe gives you a sequence of instructions to follow that uh, that uh, you go through one by one and sort of operate on the ingredients to produce a desired effect. What's an algorithm? An algorithm is simply a sequence of steps that, when you perform them, accomplishes a task. Just like you can, um, within one recipe, you can say, okay, let's time to make the icing, turn to page 223 and go make the icing that's described there, then apply it to your cupcakes. What you've done is you've gone and run the icing algorithm and then incorporated that into your cupcake algorithm. A loop is a sequence of instructions that gets repeated until you reach a desired state. Let's say you have soup that you're cooking and the recipe says salt until you've reached uh, the flavor that you want. So what you do is you add a little bit of salt, you stir, you taste. You add a little bit of salt, you stir, you taste. And you keep doing this until the soup tastes right. That's a loop. In cooking, imagine you're making pancakes um, and uh, you decide that you want to use an egg. Inside the recipe, it says, if you're using an egg, use only two-thirds of a cup of water, otherwise use a full cup. In a computer program, uh, exactly the same kind of idea happens. So imagine that you're writing a program to do a bank transaction, and uh, you could write an if statement that says, if there's not enough money in the bank account, then cancel the transaction. It is always a bummer when that happens.